So you're thinking of moving to South Lake, Texas. Well, in today's video, let's talk about the pros and the cons and why people are looking to move to South Lake. Now, first up, let's talk a little bit about the city of South Lake. Currently, South Lake has a population of around 32,000 people, and it's also about 22 square miles. But where is South Lake located? Now, South Lake is actually located pretty much right in the middle, straight north of Dallas and Fort Worth. It's about 25 miles north of downtown Dallas and around actually probably 26 miles. I guess it depends on where it is that you live in the city of South Lake and about 25 miles north of the city or downtown Fort Worth. But also more importantly for a lot of people who love to travel, it's only about 10 miles from the DFW airport. So it is in a very fantastic location. Now along the uh, more northern part of the city of South Lake is the 114 freeway. So if you want to get on the freeway, you don't like driving through town because quite frankly, South Lake Boulevard is crazy, especially during rush hour traffic. If you do have to get through there, so many cars, so many stoplights. So that's kind of a nightmare, but you can't, but once you get over to the freeway, it's really not too bad. It's also a great location if you want to head down over into Arlington, catch a Rangers game. I mean, they did just win the World Series after all and maybe a Cowboys game, but also maybe you just travel a lot for work and you have to go visit, <clears throat> excuse me, and you have to go visit clients all throughout the DFW area. You have lots of access to multiple freeways and where South Lake is, it just makes it really convenient, especially if you have to go over to the Frisco Plano area where there's a lot of businesses over in that direction now as well. So South Lake is a great, location and it's a lot of the reason why people move here to the South Lake area. Now before we get into all of that I wanted to remind you that my name is Kristen Carpentier and I'm a local real estate agent here in the Dallas Fort Worth area and my team and I are actually getting reach outs, calls, texts, emails all the time from people looking to make that move here to the Dallas Texas area. So if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to reach out, call us, text us, shoot us an email and let us know how we can help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas, Texas area. All right, so what are some of the pros and the cons for actually living in the city of South Lake? We've talked about where it was at, we talked about commutes and how big it is, but let's talk about the number one pro. Well, the main reason that people are asking us when they're calling and wanting to find the perfect place for their family is because of the schools. And according to niche.com, our school ratings here in South Lake are an A+. Plus and it's currently the number one school district in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. In fact, it's probably number one in the entire state of Texas at this point. So many people have heard of South Lake, they've heard of the Carroll Dragons, and they know what a phenomenal school district it, district it is. And if they want the best for their kids, that's something that they're hoping for. So South Lake really is a fantastic area, A-plus schools, and not only for the sports. If you have kids that are really smart and great at academics, but if you're hoping that they might be recruited for college sports or just get great grades and great opportunities, South Lake might be the perfect fit for you. Now, number two on the list is it's more upscale. These neighborhoods are really known for being safe. And because South Lake is so affluent and the low crime rates here in the South Lake area, it makes people a lot more comfortable moving to a well-established area with these low crime rates. In fact, if you're gonna drive through any of these neighborhoods, even if they're some of the older neighborhoods, you're going to see how well the majority of people here in South Lake take care of their yards. You have the landscapers out taking, you know, mowing people's lawns, taking care of the community neighborhoods, not to mention, you're going to see a lot of people out doing work on their house. There's some neighborhoods that I've been in when you're out showing houses or you're out touring some of these neighborhoods, and it seems like a lot of these homes are getting things done to them, where whether the contractor's in there replacing the flooring or putting or repainting the house or even putting in a pool in the backyard, you're going to see how well people are taking care of their homes here in the city of South Lake. Now, the number three pro, which we touched on a little bit, is going to be the location. Now, living in South Lake, you're going to have a little bit more of that country, suburban feel, but at the same time, so many of these modern amenities. In fact, these newer homes that are being built here in South Lake are gonna be a little bit more on the modern upscale side of things. Of course, not all of them, but that's just kind of how it is. Everything is very, very high end when you're looking to 
build a home here in the South Lake area just because of how expensive and how high quality the homes being built here are. And because of the location, it's gonna make it that much easier to get to a lot of the things going on here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you wanna get in, get down to any of the activities in Arlington or in, in Arlington or in Frisco, South Lake is going to be a great location for that. Number four pro for living in South Lake is going to be the number of outdoor activities. On the north side of the city of South Lake, along Grapevine Lake, you're gonna have the Bob Jones Nature Center and Preserve. I always get that wrong. Um, too many words, I think. But it's just a great outdoor area. If you wanna go hiking along Grapevine Lake, if you wanna go out and go horseback riding, if you wanna just be able to enjoy nature and in through the trees, the Bob Jones Nature Center is going to be a phenomenal place to enjoy the outdoors. They also have multiple parks here in South Lake. And like I said, it's right there bordering Grapevine Lake. It has tons of sports facilities as well as a golf course here in the city of South Lake as well. So multiple options to get out and go play tennis, go play pickleball and sign your kids up for swimming or any sort of sport here in the city of South Lake. Lots of opportunities. And the number five pro for living here in South Lake is definitely going to be the quality of life. If you want that great community feel, if you want to be just get to know your neighbors, if you want to just embrace the Carol Dragon, South Lake is going to be the place for you. There are so many activities that go on here in South Lake all throughout the year, whether it is parades or Christmas events or Oktoberfest or Art in the Square, South Lake is going to have those opportunities. In fact, where South Lake Town Square is right in the heart of the city, it just seems to be where everybody just gravitates towards for any sort of an event. In Christmas time, you're going to have Santa and carriage rides and just so many great things to be able to do outdoors and just have that great sense of community by living here in the city of South Lake. But South Lake is also known for preserving its green space. It's really important for South Lake to have these green open areas. A lot of these neighborhoods have these big beautiful parks with beautiful ponds and water features and South Lake really tries to keep that whole nature part of it part of the entire community. So another great option for living in South Lake if you want to be able to feel like you're still in nature yet you're still part of this big suburban type community. Now let's talk a little bit about the cons of living here in South Lake. And the number one con is probably going to be the cost of living. Now, the median price point of homes here in South Lake is at around $1.2 million. And that's still probably gonna get you a little bit older of a home. You can get homes in the seven, $800,000 range, but they're gonna probably be smaller, very outdated, and certainly older. But you can also get homes here in South Lake well over $10 million as well. Now, as for new construction, there really, there's no master plan communities going on here in the South Lake area. The few neighborhoods that are being built are totally custom neighborhoods and the price point is certainly a lot higher in these particular areas. Looking to build a custom home, it's probably going to be a minimum of at least two million or upwards of five to six million dollars, depending on the location and the particular neighborhood on where you wanna buy a home. Now, it doesn't mean that these aren't fantastic, totally top of the line, custom built homes here in South Lake, but like I said, price points a little bit higher if you're gonna move here to the South Lake area. The number two con, which we have had a few clients kind of mention to us and some friends that we know that do live in the South Lake area is the lack of diversity. And because the price point is so high living in South Lake, it kind of weeds out a lot of people who might not be able to afford it. Hence, not really having those opportunities for diversity in the city of South Lake. So it is a con from some people that we have talked to who live there and who have been considering moving to the South Lake area. The number three con for living in South Lake is going to be the commute times. Now, like I said, you can hop on the 114, you do have the highway on the north end of South Lake, but if you're heading through South Lake to get over to the freeway because getting up north to the 114 isn't super convenient, your commute times are gonna be quite a bit higher. It's going to, you're gonna be sitting in rush hour traffic, hitting every single stoplight on your way through town. So that might not be super enjoyable for people who hate rush hour traffic. Maybe you don't have to commute during the high rush hour times. Maybe the commute won't bother you. 
by living here in South Lake. So just something to think about if you're having to commute during rush hour, that it could be kind of a pain in the rear. The number four con for living in South Lake is going to be the limited public transportation. Now, if you're used to coming from one of these other cities that has a subway or a metro, or it was easy to hop on any forms of public transportation, South Lake might not be the spot for you. It is definitely, they do have the bus that runs through town, but you're really not gonna have a lot of other options of being able to hop on public transportation to get wherever you might need to go throughout the DFW area. And the num number five con on our list is going to be the competitive school environment. Now, yes, South Lake Carroll is the number one school district here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area currently, but that also means it is highly competitive. So maybe that's not for you and your family. Maybe your kids don't love the pressure of being in a highly competitive environment and maybe that stresses them out, but also maybe that's something that will help your kids thrive. But just something to think about if you're wanting to move here because of the schools, just how competitive it can be, especially in sports and other types of things that are going on in the Carroll School District. Number six con for living in South Lake is going to be the limited affordability. Like we said, the median price point of homes here in South Lake is $1.2 million. So if you're ho hoping for a deal or hoping for something that's a little bit newer because of the location, South Lake might not be the best bet for you. And last con that we wanna to touch on a little bit is going to be the overcrowding that some people think of here in South Lake because Houses have been here a long time because of the commute times and getting outside of the South Lake area and how hard it is to get over to maybe South Lake Town Square to do a little bit of shopping and it always seems so busy. Not that there isn't a lot to do, not that there aren't a lot of opportunities, but maybe you just don't like how busy it is and how many people are always out and about. But then again, maybe that is right up your alley. So those are some of the pros and cons as we discuss living here in the city of South Lake. And if you have any questions at all and you want more information about moving here to the DFW area, don't hesitate to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. My team and I would absolutely love to help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas, Texas area. And until next time, take care.